We're here today at the Carolina Treehouse. This is the ultimate property in Charlotte, North Carolina, because you have your own private pond right here. Kayaks, fishing, fire pit, tiny house. Let's check this place out. Reel it in, reel it in. Today we're at the Carolina Treehouse in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is a tiny house right here behind me. There's private parking up there for you and you walk down this beautiful path, mulch, there's rocks all along the side and we are in such a beautiful setting. For being in Charlotte, you would expect to be in the city. We're actually in a community, but we have our own private pond right over here. The views are incredible. You got your own dock, a fire pit, and of course your tiny house right over here. And this is all for you. We can just walk up this deck up here and into the tree house. And once we're up on the deck, beautiful views. We're towering over the pond, the trees everywhere. This is just beautiful. We're gonna be exploring the property here later. Let's walk inside the tree house and check it out. Inside, the Carolina Treehouse definitely has a lot of character. Everything is here on the main floor. It might look like there's multiple levels to this treehouse, but the ceilings are open. It's huge. This right side has all of your windows for great natural lighting. I love the look of this and how they design all of it. You got your dining table in front of these windows, nice seating options, but the kitchen space is pretty large for this tiny house. Blue cabinetry underneath with the green walls and the tile on the floor. I like the hex tile that bleeds into the hardwood floor. Great detail, pretty unique, but back to the kitchen, you got the butcher block countertops and everything that you need on top of it. A hot plate to cook anything that you need. They provide some coffee. Floating shelves above with the natural live edge look. I like that with all of your dishes. And then one interesting detail is this brick, uh, backsplash that they have for the kitchen. Adds a lot more character to this place. There's also a mini fridge underneath as well to store a couple days worth of food. The sink is the last thing over here. Antique faucet with the apron front sink right here. And then that is everything for this area. You might be wondering what's behind this door. It's your bathroom space. We'll slide this open. In here is a really small bathroom area. This left side has your toilet and the right side has a farmhouse style sink. So you can get everything you kind of need privately done in there. Your shower space is actually outside. It's right through these uh, bar style doors, saloon style doors, and you got an outdoor shower through there. Over on this half of the tiny house, we have your bedroom space. Like this is an open concept tiny house. Really cool bed frame here in the middle. We got a chandelier hanging above with a really awesome skylight right next to that. I'm a big fan of all the window options in here, these small horizontal windows above and next to the bed, and you got a huge one right here. The green ship lap is really cool as well, and another cool design feature is they have small tree cutout cookies all over this wall, and I mean, I've never seen anything like that. And this is just a fun design detail to include in all of this. I love all the rustic decor they have in here. Over here, they have a record player if you wanna play music, which is nice. And then, of course, these sliding arch doors that lead out to your deck space. Once you're done inside, you can walk out these double doors out here. Beautiful views, and you got a lot more deck space uh, to explore and have fun at. We can walk down this way. You got a couple chairs over here to enjoy the views. There's a lot of space on this deck, and it looks really good. My favorite part of this is the net right here. You can walk through this way, hop down on the net, relax. You can sleep out here, get views of the trees and the sky. I mean, this is a pretty large net and we're probably 20 feet off of the ground, so pretty fun. You can never go wrong with a net and a deck at an Airbnb. As we walk back around to the front door, beautiful views of the front of the treehouse. It is towering. I love the shingles, uh, wood shingles on the front with all the windows. It just looks awesome looking at it through the trees from down there. Making our way outside and exploring the property underneath your treehouse, you have this outdoor swinging bed. Hung from these ropes from underneath the deck, string lights all above it, and you can watch movies out here. There's a projector over there and the screen you can pull down. Since we're under the deck, you can be out here rain or shine. You could sleep out here if you wanted to. This is just a nice feature to have. And then this all faces 
your pond over here. Pathways all around and we finally make it down to your private pond. There's not a single house on this pond except for us. Over here we have your fire pit option right in front of the lake, which is really cool. They provide some firewood for you. Tiki torches, this would be an awesome setting at night. We can look back up at the tree house and it's just towering over us. It's so beautiful. Campfire story time. I was having a bonfire at my own property last year and the flame was so large, it was about 40 feet in the air. That's how big this bonfire was. Uh, it got the top of the tree on fire. The fire department had to come, chop it down, and they saved the day. Very irresponsible. That is my horrifying fire story. Also, I just found out this cabin's only 270 square feet of living space. That's tiny. And then over here, one of the coolest parts that they offer is a deck space. Just a short walk away, you have this custom deck here for you. And at the very end of it, they have two kayaks. You can kayak around the pond, enjoy your time. They even provide fishing poles as well. So you can come out here and fish. I think it's a bass. Reel it in, reel it in. Ah! Ah! <laughs> There's a monster in this pond. <laughs> This is where the Loch Ness Monster abides. Very private and serene. I mean, we can come out here and it is just a beautiful setting. Two kayaks, Justin. Time to get the kayak in the water. <sighs> yeah, that's not bad. Oh, did it. All right, Justin's turn. This is Justin's first time kayaking. Nice. All right, stay. I said stay. What's going through your head? I'm about to fall straight through. <laughs> we'll do it. The first person to exit the frame on the other side. Justin, if you beat me, you're fired. No, I'm kidding. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I'm not a man and I'm not athletic. What happened? I didn't want to lose my job. So if you enjoyed this place, the link is down in the description below. Highly suggest it. I loved it. Justin, what do you think? I think that this is a beautiful place and it's really unique having this pond right in the backyard and the kayaks. I think this is a great stay. The real question is, is this place worth it? Yes, this place is definitely worth it for where we're located and what you get. I mean, I would love to come back here anytime. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week in another Airbnb tour.